Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna talk all about electrolytes. And we will start charging up right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah well happy fall y'all <laughs> we've got a new backdrop but we had to bring it in because there is no fall in florida yeah and uh this is take two of this video so we just finished filming this entire video i got up tripped over the extension cord it unplugged the camera before i could hit the stop button which then corrupts the entire file so Hopefully, this one works. The good news for you is it probably won't be 50 minutes long this time. And the good news for me is I wasn't the one that did it. Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to talk about electrolytes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of inspired me to do this is a Keto Chow recently came out with these electrolyte drop strips. Now, they're not sponsoring this video or anything. But when I saw them on the website, they didn't even tell me about them. I found them on the website and I ordered them. And I'm like, these are cool. So what they are is they're little like packets of electrolytes, just like, and you just kind of rip it open, pour it in your mouth, pour it in your drink, something Super like that. Super portable. And so I really, really liked them. And when I figured out the price, I was like, ooh, that's pretty affordable. But the thing is, is that after I ordered these, their social media person reached out to me and said, hey, I'm gonna send you some. So we've got an extra pack. So we're gonna give these away at the end of this video. So yeah. if you're interested in trying these, we're gonna enter a giveaway later on. Stay tuned. So uh, I'm gonna apologize up front. This video is gonna be a little geeky. It is, but when I heard nerd, <laughs> then I was like swoon. Yeah, it's gonna be a little um, number crunchy kind of thing because what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the different electrolyte supplements that we have used or that people do use, but mm -hmm. we've used pretty much everything Everything here. you see here. Um, we're gonna go over all the different ones, what, you, what electrolytes you get out of it, mm -hmm and how much it costs you per serving. And then at the end, we're going to break it down to how many of each one of these do you need to get 1,000 milligrams of potassium. Because that's the goal. Yes. And it's always interesting to me to break it down per serving because a lot of times, you know, you buy one of these, sorry, I'm knocking everything over, but you, you see these online and it's like this canister is like $60 or $40 or something. It's like, wow, that's really expensive. You know, I'd rather just buy the $1.50 Gatorade. However, you need to break it down by like, what are you getting? Yeah. Yeah, that's like one of the things I love about Costco. You go into Costco and Costco's got like things that breaks it down like per ounce. And yeah. that's pretty much what we're going to do, breaking it down per serving. And what kind of inspired me is I've done this once before. I did it with dog food. When yes. we got Tabitha, um, we really wanted to make sure she was getting a good quality diet so that we didn't have to take her to the vet as much. Or, you know, basically what we're doing with our lives, right? Give her a good quality diet so hopefully she doesn't have to go to the doctor. Yeah. And so I started researching things and we feed her a very expensive dog food. It's like $85 to $95 a month. And at first, it was a sticker shock. I was shock. like, oh, yeah, that's never happening. Yeah. Right? But then once he started doing the spreadsheets and like comparing what does she get per serving like and how many servings would she have to eat in order to get all of her you know daily requirements we found out that it was actually cheaper to feed her the expensive bag of dog food than to buy her the cheapest thing they sold in yeah. Target. I literally Walmart. compared like 15 different dog foods going all the way from like Purina Puppy Chow and like the Walmart no-name brand all the way up to this stuff. It's called Origin. Mm -hmm. And I actually just ordered, we're going to be changing her diet over probably to a complete keto diet. Um, so I found a keto dry food because a lot of them are heart or soft foods, but yeah. we're going to be switching over and it's going to be about the same price. So, but anyway, I broke it all down and found out, yeah, this stuff, she only needs two cups. Purina puppy chow, she needed like six cups. It was more expensive like to feed her that. But when you're looking at that was only $10 a bag, you don't see it that way. So yeah. that's what we're going to do today. So I apologize up front that it is going to be a little geeky. We're going to put some of the main information across the bottom of the screen. 
And I'm going to write this all up on a blog post. We're going to put it on our website. Uh, hopefully, it'll be up by the time we finish this vid by the video going up. Well, and I think it's really important for us to talk about this, whether you're keto or not. Um, a lot of times, you, we, we think about electrolytes in terms of youth sports. Yeah. And so we often see, you know, parents on the sideline just pouring Gatorade down their kids' throats. Are they getting out of the Gatorade what they want? Right. I was honestly shocked by some of the results of that. So yeah. we're going to talk about potassium, magnesium, and sodium. Those are the three main electrolytes. There's other ones you have to worry about. You know, but those are the three that we're going to talk about the most. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously sodium, you want to get four to 5,000 milligrams of sodium a day. Which sounds crazy. Yeah. You're going to know if you're lacking in sodium, if you start getting headaches, if you... Um, brain fog. Brain fog, if you're irritable, if, you know, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then uh, you're going to need potassium. Potassium, you want four to 5,000 milligrams a day. And it's the thing that usually in youth sports people are concerned with because usually if you don't have enough potassium, you're getting muscle cramps. Yep. And, um, you get muscle cramps, muscle, muscle uh, twitching, sorry. Um, you can get heart palpitations. And you can also start getting like an increased awareness of that even your heart is pumping. Like you'll actually feel it. Super scary. Yeah. Now with the potassium, you can supplement with foods and get potassium in. But it could be a little difficult because you're looking at your greens. That's where you're going to get it from. Your broccoli, your cauliflower, your broccoli, your kale, you know, Swiss chard, artichokes, things like that, avocados. But you're also looking at carbs as you're doing that. So it's, you want to eat that stuff. Absolutely. But again, you need four to 5,000 milligrams. It may be difficult to get it only from your greens. And then with magnesium. Yep is the other one that's a concerning thing. And you're going to get like, you know, leg twitching and things yeah. like that. It Same, similar things sleep. to potassium, but it's more, more going to affect you at night times. If you're getting like muscle twitches while you're sleeping, it's probably a magnesium issue. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the calm because magnesium is kind of hard to get on the keto diet. It's usually found in carby foods like whole grains and fruits and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we use. I think it was Keto Savage that actually yeah. suggested it at first it tastes really good i'll leave a link down below we get it on amazon i think this tub is like 17 or 18 dollars and i uh, would just take a spoon of it in your drink at night it's got like a raspberry lemonade flavor they yes. have an unflavored one too it's not a terrible flavor and um it really helps me sleep yeah it, it helped my muscle twitching okay so let's move on so like we said redmond real salt would be the best way to get some sodium in if you can't get if you don't have redmond real salt in your area um, I have a link down below, but you can buy it in almost every store. Yeah. Um, if you don't want to use that, you can use Himalayan pink salt. But know where it's coming from. Yeah. Don't go to TJ Maxx or to the Dollar Tree and buy your Himalayan pink salt. There are a lot of Himalayan mines. Some are better than others. Well, and, you know, you're transporting it for a very far amount of yeah. space. So, like, you know, there's a lot of contamination that can take yeah, place. Yeah. Just you want to have good quality salt. That's one of the most important things to get in your body, especially on the keto diet don't skimp on like to say 50 cents or a dollar on salt. But honestly, this is going to be the best one because it's got so many minerals. Plus it's mined right here in the United States in, in the Utah. And it's delicious PS. Yeah. It's, it's almost got like a sweetness to it. That you and like enjoy. you said, you know, you talk about contaminants and stuff, tra transporting, it only has to come from Utah. It's not coming like across oceans and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're going to, we're going to break them down. We're going to go over each one. We're going to talk about, um, how much potassium you get with it, how much sodium, how much magnesium. We're going to talk about what the sweetener in it is, if there's any carbs in it, and then how much it costs per serving. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to start off with Ultima. This is actually the first electrolyte drink that we ever bought mm -hmm. or, or supplement. Ultima comes in a lot of different flavors. We get it on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Sadly, we have grape in our hand. Yes. Well, that's what we have left. We don't have it left because you don't drink it. Yeah. Um, so one serving of Ultima, if you buy it in this tub, you can buy two ways in the tub or you can buy it in sticks, but it is way more cost effective. Like yeah. This. The tub is like $36. I have a price. I have it written down on my laptop based on per serving. Uh, the tub is like $36. There's 90 servings in here, or you can get the sticks and the sticks work out to be between a dollar and $2 per serving, depending on where you get it. And how much is it? Per this serving is 45 this? cents per serving. If you buy it this way. Wow. Okay. 
So I always just kept one at home and kept one in my car, and this way I always had one in the road. So one serving of this is gonna give you 250 milligrams of potassium, 100 milligrams of magnesium, and 55 milligrams of sodium. With how many carbs? With uh, zero carbs, sweetened with stevia. Now, sodium is always gonna be the one that I'm least concerned about because it's again- Salt. Salt, that's all you need. You can do it salt. But we are gonna look at it because at the end we wanna see what's gonna give you the most all around. Yeah, who's the who's the all around best? Because there are some things that like are really high in one thing, but then really totally low lacking in another. Okay, next up, this has become one of our three go to. We pretty much have three go to electrolyte drinks in our house now. Um, <clears throat> we have a we have the keto uh, keto child electrolyte drops, mm -hmm. which we actually got turned on to by Dr. Barry because he started talking about them a lot. Yeah, because he makes his keto. He makes keto aid, and that's kind of what made us take a second look at keto chow. It did. I'm so glad we did. <laughs> yeah. So um, so yeah, we do keto. We do the keto child drops. We do keto vitals, and then we do Rachel's favorite. Zip this. Which we'll get into that in a minute. Okay, so Keto Vitals got turned on to this by Keto Savage as well. Comes in a few different flavors. We get it on Amazon. Uh, there are 60 servings in here. It's 48 cents a serving. Now you can buy this as well now in sticks. They just got started doing that. By the container. Um, the sticks are a dollar a stick. It's 500 milligrams of potassium, 200 milligrams of magnesium, 200 milligrams of sodium. Which is why it kind of edged out Ultima for yeah, us. Yeah, so it it is it does have four times the amount of sodium as Ultima, so you, and you do taste that sodium. It is a little bit It more is salty. a little bit salty, but you've got double the potassium, you've got double the magnesium for the same price. Which I love. Okay, next up, uh, we don't have this one, but a lot of people take it, so I wanted to add it in here, and that's Dr. Berg's Electrolyte Powder. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried it a couple of years ago. It wasn't very tasty. I, I didn't enjoy the taste of it. Some people love the taste. Some people don't. Oh, by the way, uh, that is sweetened with monk fruit and stevia. Zero carbs. Zero carbs. Uh, Dr. Berg's is sweetened with stevia. I'm sorry. I have my iPad. There's no way I can remember all this. Um, zero carbs and it's sweetened with stevia. Uh, I believe it's only one flavor. Mm -hmm. It comes out to be 82 cents a serving. It's a thousand milligrams of potassium, which is which awesome. is awesome, and then it's 120 milligrams of magnesium and 10 milligrams of sodium. So it's got like no sodium. But he's not paying attention to that because of the fact that you can so easily yeah. supplement. Yeah, I've seen him talk sodium. about it. Uh, that he's like, I don't care about the sodium because I figure you could just salt your food. Yeah. So. Um, next up, Zip Fizz, which I love. Rachel's favorite. Fruit punch is the bomb. Yep. And. Let's face it. The reason why I like this bestest is because it's delicious. It tastes the best. It's very, very tasty. And it also has a lot of B vitamins in it. So there's a pep in your step yeah, you that do. accompanies the electrolytes. But you have to be careful because, I mean, it's got like ridiculous, but like 10 times or more the amount of vitamin B that you're supposed to have. So this isn't something that I would probably give to kids. Uh, I, I, would, I wouldn't drink it more than one time a day. Right. I wouldn't drink two of these. And... It's got two carbs. Yeah. Well, we, let's get into that. So, yeah. So, it's got two carbs in a tube. It is sweetened with xylitol and sucralose. Which I didn't even know it had xylitol in it. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I was researching for this and I found the xylitol in it. And again, the sucralose, I don't have an issue with sucralose. Sucralose is not Splenda. Um, it's going to be a very, very tiny amount if it's pure sucralose. You know, Splenda has sucralose in it. But it also has sugars in it. Right. So that's that's why, you know, you, Splenda's a no-no. Sucralose is okay, so long as you don't mind artificial sweeteners. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a dollar to a dollar fifty a serving. Okay. Right. We get it at Sam's Club, Costco, BJ's. Um, it's a dollar there. Sometimes they even have them a little bit more on sale. And then you can buy them on online or Walgreens, those kind of places. And I've seen it for a dollar fifty to two dollars a serving. Which I like it better because then I can get just the flavor I want. I don't have to get like a multi pack. Yeah. So we only it. buy from the Sam's Club and stuff. I'm and that whatever flavor they have, that's the flavor we're getting. As long I, as it's not great. I'm not paying a dollar fifty to two dollars a tube for it. Uh, Costco, if you're if you have a Costco membership, does sell several flavors on their website that they don't have in the store. Yes, and that's where and it's free shipping if you have a membership. So that's where we started getting them from. Um, so those are going to give you 950 milligrams of potassium, a hundred milligrams of magnesium, and 75 milligrams of sodium. So it's actually better than Dr. Berg's powder. It's Which got is crazy a, a little bit less magnesium, 120 versus 100, but it's got a lot more uh, sodium in it. 
And it's definitely easier to come by. Yeah. I mean, now the just... downfall, like you said, two carbs. Okay. Plus it's sweetened with silk roast for the people who don't like silk roast. Yeah. Next up, Gatorade. Which we have drank our fair share of Gatorade Zero. I was never a huge Gatorade person, but liked, Rachel was. Well, I liked Powerade Zero way better. I, I Gatorade is and me have had like a love-hate relationship, almost like grape. Right. Because this was always what you got when you were sick. Right. Right? Mom gets you a Gatorade because you're sick. So... So yeah, we're Powerade. we're talking about sugar-free Gatorade. We have Gatorade Zero and then we have Powerade Zero. And we're doing both of them because they're very, very different, okay? Mm -hmm. So I was shocked by some of these results. So this particular bottle, I got this at Winn-Dixie. It was like $1.69, but so were the smaller bottles. So this is a 32 ounce bottle. This has two and a half servings in it, okay? 32 ounce bottle, two and a half servings. There are, in a serving, 12 ounces, okay? And one serving has 160 milligrams of sodium and 45 milligrams of potassium. So not really much of anything for yeah. potassium. It's pretty much salt water. I mean, it, it, that's what it is. It's Kool-Aid that has salt added to it. That's I mean, what it, it is. may taste like you want it to taste, but if you're giving this to your kid or you're drinking it yourself because you're trying to, like, you know, boost your potassium, it's not really doing Yeah, that. and that's the thing is when I'm out on the football field or the lacrosse field, I see parents like pouring this stuff in kids' mouths like they're drinking two, three, four bottles a day thinking like, hey, he's going to cramp up if he doesn't get it. And he's not getting enough potassium to deal with that cramping. No. It's giving you sodium. It's not giving you the potassium. And like we said earlier, lack of sodium is going to cause like lack of focus, headaches, things like that. The potassium is what's going to cause the muscle cramps. Right. Potassium and magnesium. Okay, so like we said, we're going to say, we're going to go by. It costs a dollar to two dollars a serving. Now this happens to be two and a half servings, but for the most part, people aren't buying the big bottles. They're buying the little bottles, and the little bottles are also a dollar to two dollars, which is weird. So we're just going to kind of go in the middle, especially when we get in later on. Um, oh, so it has on the label. It says carbohydrates, it has less than one carb, which means it has more than a half a carb, but less than a total carb. So so probably since this is two and a half servings, you probably like two carbs. I'm going to say this bottle's got two carbs. It's got at least two carbs in it. And my advice always is round up. Heavy cream, even if it says zero, round up or at least figure it's got a half a carb. So if you drink two servings of heavy cream, count one carb at least same thing here so you've got two carbs for this but a ton of i mean but almost no potassium and you've got two carbs in this but a lot of potassium right also this is sweetened with sucralose which is fine it also has modified food starch in it which is not fine okay next up you want to put this one over there yeah next up is powerade zero Blue Power Radio, that was my jam. And this is the Ion 4 one, so I don't know what if the Ion 4 has extra stuff in it. It says magnesium, but there's literally no magnesium on the label. White cherry. Okay, so um, this again was like $1.50 in Winn-Dixie, and the smaller bottles were the same price. We're going to kind of use the same premise, a dollar to $2 per serving. There are two and a half servings in this. A serving size is 12 ounces. It is 150 milligrams of sodium. 35 milligrams of potassium. So it's got less sodium and less potassium than Gatorade. And I see a lot of people drinking this. Yep. Um, same price. Actually, I think you can get it for like a dollar at um, Walmart. With Walmart. It's yeah. actually, it's like 80 cents at Walmart. Okay. Um, ingredients, sucralose, modified food starch, and ascorbic acid. Which is another so sweetener. It's another sweetener. Same thing, it says less than one carb per serving. There's two and a half carbs in here, so I'm gonna say there's two carbs in this bottle. Now, I don't recommend drinking Gatorade or Powerade personally, but if you are going to drink one of them, go with the Gatorade. The Gatorade's yeah. slightly better, it doesn't have the ascorbic acid, at least that flavor doesn't have the ascorbic acid. It's got a little bit more potassium, it's got a little bit more sodium. What about the sugared one? <laughs> You really want to know? I do. I actually looked it up. I do because a lot of parents are giving this to their kid, hoping to help them out. Okay. This was shocking. Okay, because I do. I see a lot of kid parents dumping that stuff in their kids' mouths. I And I'm literally saying dumping because it's like, it's so bad for them. Okay. 
So Gatorade, sugared Gatorade's a little different. It ha- a serving size is 16 ounces. It has 127 calories, 190 milligrams of sodium, and 73 milligrams of potassium. Okay, so it has more actually potassium. more potassium and the same amount of sodium as these, but it has 31 carbohydrates. In a serving. In a serving. And 26 grams of sugar. So if your child or somebody was to get this size in Gatorade, which they sell them, right? Yeah. Same price. Absolutely. They would be getting 250 calories. Uh, They would be getting, uh, what is that? Uh, 380 milligrams of sodium. They'd be getting 140 grams of potassium, 62 carbohydrates. And you ready? 52 total grams of sugar. So you're wondering, man, my kid is constantly on the field. He's running around. He's super athletic. Like, why are we having, like, a childhood obesity issue? It's because how much working out are they going to have to do to One even bottle of Gatorade this, this size is more sugar than a child's supposed to consume in a day. Just one bottle. And they're drinking a lot more a lot. than one. Yep. Okay, let's move on. Um, so next up. We just took a look at it because a lot of people talk about it all the time. You you talked about it. we used to give it to our kids. Pedialyte. Yes. Okay, so Pedialyte, a serving size is only eight ounces, which I thought I was really impressed with that. That is amazing. So you can buy in um, Target, you can buy like the one liter bottle that's got four servings in it. It's $5. So what is that? $1.25 a serving. Yep. 240 milligrams of sodium. And so it's got more sodium than anything we've talked about so far. It has 180 milligrams of potassium. So it's actually pretty good. Um, It has six total carbohydrates, six grams of sugar in it. The number two ingredient is dextrose. Wow. So it's water, dextrose. But if you are trying to achieve some potassium and sodium on the field. If you, yeah, and you're not willing to do one of these other things, Go with go Pedialyte. with Pedialyte, go and with I Pedialyte. and I know that they're selling it in the baby section. But just because it's in the baby section doesn't mean that like an older child or even an adult could have Pedialyte. I work football games with a guy my back judge on my varsity crew drinks a Pedialyte before every game. Now I've been talking to him on our last game, like dude, like stop that. It's like all sugar. Right. I mean, it's better than any of the Gatorades, which he knew that, but. Like, he's like, I'm still getting cramps. I'm like, because you can't possibly drink it enough. You have to drink, like, six servings of that. And I understand the convenience of this. Like, all of these other things take a little bit of planning, right? right? That you have to know, hey, I need to have electrolytes and things like that. But, you know, you're starting, you know, the sports season, buy it. Yeah. And, like, just have it ready for your kid. I mean, now that they're making these things, like, super convenient and portable, well, let's talk about out. this because I was honestly shocked by, my, by the results. Of I did not know it was going to work out like this. Okay, so Keto Child Drops. We're going to put this over here. You can get this a few different ways. If you This is a 250 milliliter bottle. This bottle costs like $18. Okay? When you buy this, they give you one of these little bottles. You can also buy these, but don't buy them. They're expensive to just buy it like this. There's 10 servings in this bottle. Mm-hmm. There's 100 servings in this bottle. Then in addition, they have a 500 milliliter bottle, which is like... $36. But it's going to last you forever. It's $34. And um, yeah, it's 500 milliliters. So it's like 200 servings. Um, but yeah, just buy it this way. So a serving size on this, I just squirt it in my mouth. And I actually use this to squirt in my mouth because with this, like it drops more. So like I'll put a big squirt in. Um, a serving size is one capful. So you have this little tiny cap. It's just a cap full. Now, this is a very different mode of transportation for your electrolytes because it is not trying to be a drink. No. This is trying to be a beverage. This is not. No. This is just getting the business done. So this, I usually will squirt salty. it in my mouth, but you can put it in straight. If you just put a cap full or even two cap fulls in any kind of drink, it could be your soda. It could be with your apple cider vinegar drink. It could, you could put it in coffee. I mean, I put a tablespoon in, or in the coffee, and a lot of people started adding salt in their coffee. Uh, if you put a cap full of this in your coffee, you will not taste it. It will not make your coffee t- salty. It's because it's literally such a small amount. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is about, this is 10 servings. Okay. So one serving of it is 450 milligrams of sodium. Okay. So that's more than double sodium of anything else. 45 milligrams of magnesium and 130 milligrams of potassium. So it sounds like it doesn't have a whole lot of potassium in it, 
um, when you look at just one serving. I usually do a double serving, which would give me about 260 milligrams of potassium, but it does have a, some magnesium and it has your sodium. But again, zero carb, like you said. No you can sweet add it to anything. I've even put it on my eggs and on my food. Because it salts it. It's just, it's very salty, mm -hmm. okay? So it works out to be 18 cents a serving if you buy it in this way. 15 cents a serving if you buy the bigger bottle or if you want to go with these because these are one serving. So one of these is equal to a cap fall and um, these are 40 cents. So I mean before- Which, That's not bad for like- No, I mean, and it's easy to take, put, you know, whatever is your favorite, like, I don't know if you, you, you make an Everly drink or one of those like powdered, you know, beverages and just squirt this down in it and right. have your kid drink that. So when you kind of look at it, it's still, you can't figure out which one's giving you the best bang for your buck. So you've got to, let we've got to set the bar and see how many would I have to buy or drink? Like how much would I have to drink to make them all equal? Right, so what I did was I broke it down. And again, this will be in the blog post, but I'll have the whole spreadsheet. I broke it down to the, comparing it with Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder and with the Zip Fizz, because those are gonna give you a thousand milligrams or Zip Fizz is 950, Dr. Berg's is a thousand milligrams of potassium. So I basically took all of the other products and I upped them to how much of it do I have to drink to get to a thousand milligrams of potassium? Right. How much will it cost me? And then how much of the other the other uh, electrolytes do I get in doing that? Yeah. And I figured that would be a good way to figure out which one is the best bang for your buck which one should you continue taking? Mm -hmm. Okay. So to get to a thousand milligrams with, we'll start, we'll just kind of go in reverse order. Yeah. With this one here, with the Ultima, you would need four servings. A dollar eighty is what it's going to cost you, or four dollars if you use the sticks. That would give you, in addition, we've already said this is all going to give you about a thousand milligrams of potassium. We're, again, it's between nine fifty and like a thousand twenty, just to do a whole serving. Uh, 400 milligrams of magnesium, which is good because you need three to 500 for the day, and uh, 220 milligrams of sodium. So it's still not a lot of sodium. But again, salt. That's all yep. you need for that. Next up, Keto Vitals. To get to 1,000 milligrams of, of potassium, two servings, 96 cents, or $2 if you buy it in the sticks, 800 milligrams of magnesium when you do two servings, 800 milligrams of sodium. So at that point, you are the same as a Zip Fizz mm -hmm. as far as potassium. You're the same as Zip Fizz with your cost, but you're getting all of the magnesium you need for the day and you're a quarter of the way on your way for your sodium. And no carbs and no wonky sweetener. Right. So I, and that is, again, I think why Savage like recommended it to us because it's what he's using. Because when you come down to a dollar for dollar, that's really good. You know, because again, it seems daunting when you see the price online for the whole canister, but you got to break it down by serving. Yeah, I, I will leave a link down below. I think it's like $30 a canister. Okay, next up, Dr. Berg's. We don't have to do anything. One serving gives you 1,000 milligrams. It was 82 cents. Um, Zip Fizz, same thing. Gives you 1,950 milligrams. It's a dollar to a dollar fifty. Um, so Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade. How to, many of these am I going to have to drink? Okay, well, you would need 22 12 ounce servings. And so that would be about nine of these bottles. So you have to drink nine. Nine of those bottles. That is going to give you 22 servings. It's going to give you about 1,000 uh, milligrams of potassium. It will give you 3,520 milligrams of sodium. So your salt's good. Your salt's good for the day. It will also give you 22 carbohydrates on the sugar free version. That's crazy. So sugar free version, you're getting zero, you're getting 22 carbohydrates if you drink enough to get a thousand milligrams. You used to drink two, three, four of these a day when you started on keto. I did, but it, it wasn't hitting the electrolyte that I needed. It wasn't hitting the electrolyte and you didn't pay attention to the fact that you were in essence drinking eight carbs. So why were you stalling the first time you did keto? You were drinking four of those a day. That's eight carbs, not including your macadamia nuts, not including your avocado, your lettuce, your eggs, your heavy cream, any of that other stuff. And before you know it, you've got hidden carbs. Yeah. Just because a label says less than one or zero doesn't mean it's actually zero. And we're not trying to like poop on anyone's parade, but it's like, I want to 
like enlightened people so they yeah. don't have the same frustration I did. Like, as why a, is this happening to me? As a matter of fact, on a tangent, I got a, I gained a new gain respect for Coca-Cola today. So Anthony and I went to the store. I was getting a drink. I noticed on the fountain machine, they have one of those fancy Coca-Cola machines where you can choose. It's got oh, like right. 250 different flavors. There's this little sign. I have a picture of it. I'm going to put it up here on the screen. There's a little sign on there. It says zero calorie doesn't mean necessarily zero calorie because the FDA allows them to round down that it could still have carbohydrates and sugar and calories in it. Wow. Like I actually give them props for putting that on the thing. Yeah. So, okay. So moving on. 22 carbohydrates. It will cost you, we, we said instead of going by the serving, which is a dollar to $2 per serving on the little bottles, we're going to say you need nine bottles of this, a dollar to two dollars. We'll go in the middle, say a dollar fifty a bottle, thirteen dollars. So there you go. So this may seem like, wow, that's way cheaper than this. No way. Yeah. No way. Yep. So thirteen dollars. What about Powerade Zero? Powerade Zero. This is my groove. That was your groove. It takes 28 servings to get 1,000 milligrams of potassium. My mustache is bothering me, sorry. Mine too. <laughs> uh, 28 servings, 28 carbohydrates. Um, it would be 11 of these bottles. I mean, I could probably drink 11 of the blue ones. I mean, they taste delicious, but yeah, that's not helping me out. It'll cost you $16.50, Tim. Or my wallet. Yep. Uh, you want to hear a fun one? Sugared Gatorade. Oh, Lord. So sugared Gatorade would take you 14 bottles, okay, or two, uh, 14 or seven of these. Okay. Right? Yeah. 1,778 calories. Oh, my goodness. 2,660 milligrams of sodium. 434 total carbohydrates. Wow. And 364 grams of added sugar. Oh, my gosh. And then you wonder why, like, after you're done with the game, why is this kid, like, still, like, not tired? Yep. Well, you just put a ton of sugar in their body. Okay, so next up is Pedialyte. Pedialyte would take six servings, which is two, one and a half of those one liter bottles they sell in Target. It would be a total of 36 carbs. So when you compare that to Gatorade, way better. Drink Pedialyte. Yeah. Even if, if, if you have a kid that like they don't want to drink the Powerade Zero, um, feed them at least Pedialyte. Um, 36 carbs, total carbs if you drank everything you needed. It would cost you seven dollars and fifty cents. So it's also half the price of Gatorade, and it would be fourteen hundred and forty uh, grams of milligrams of, sh of sodium. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one, keto chow. Keto chow. It would take seven and a half servings of keto chow. But which remember, is that's a cap. Three quarters of this bottle. Okay. That would that would give you a. 1,000 milligrams of potassium, 3,375 milligrams of sodium. So almost all of your sodium for the day. Put salt on one of your meals, you're done. 337 milligrams of magnesium, which is you need three to 500. Pretty amazing. So if you did seven and a half servings of this, which is basically three quarters of this bottle a day, you would be spending $1.35 if you buy it in this. You'd spend a dollar twelve if you bought it in the five hundred milliliter bottle. Th these are a good like on the go thing. Your cheapest is gonna buy like either this or the five hundred milliliter one. There's no carbs in this. No carbs. There is no sweetener in this. Right. It's just all business. Yeah. Now again, you can add it to whatever you want, um, but for me, in the end, and I was kind of shocked by it because I noticed when I looked at the potassium. I was like, wait a second, it's only got 130 milligrams of potassium. This is kind of like drinking Gatorade, it's just giving me salt, you know, because it's got a lot of salt in it. But when you look at it, everything compared to the 1,000 milligrams, compare everything to a Zip Fizz, this is the value because this is not only giving me 1,000 milligrams of potassium, it's giving me 337 milligrams of magnesium, all of the magnesium I need for the day. Compare that to Zip Fizz, it's only giving you 100. Right. Zip Fizz is only giving you um, how much? 75 milligrams of sodium. This is giving you 3,375 milligrams. So it's tasty, granted, yeah. but I mean, this is this is the better deal. Working harder. Yep. So just uh, for fun, I also wanted to just kind of look at pickle juice real quick. <laughs> Four ounces of pickle juice, homemade pickle juice, okay? 
uh, not a pickle pop. Four ounces would give you a hundred and would give you a thousand milligrams of, pota- of sodium, a hundred and twenty milligrams of potassium, and one to five carbs depending on the spices. So how much would you have to drink in order to get to a thousand milligrams of potassium? Four cups. Can you imagine? Four cups, which would give you eight thousand milligrams of sodium. And 8 to 40 carbs. There are more carbs in pickle juice than there are in your pickles. Because of the spices. Because all the spices are in the juice. I think we drank four cups yeah. on our review. Not quite, but close to it. I'll also, just to wrap this up, you know, when I'm out on the field, people are always talking about telling kids, like, eat your bananas, eat your bananas, eat your bananas. It does give you more potassium than a lot of this stuff in a serving. But it also gives you 105 calories, 27 total carbs, and 24 net carbs. And uh, it gives you 422 milligrams of potassium. So that's Which pretty is good. Great. That's like you're at like keto vitals kind of thing. But there is a food that is better. An avocado will give you one Haas avocado, 240 calories plus 24 grams of fat. It'll give you 12 total carbohydrates, three grams of net carbs, and 750 milligrams of potassium. Which is awesome. But you're probably still going to pay a dollar or a little bit more right. per serving. But it's if you're combining, again, you need. For three, 3,500 to 4,500, even 5,000 milligrams of potassium. So you're not going to do any of these to get at all. You want to do this with a combination of your foods. If you're eating an avocado, you're eating some of your greens, you're eating some of your fishes, things like that. And then you're supplementing with this. That's how you're going to get up to that 4,000 number. Yeah. You're not going to get up to your 4,000 number by eating four avocados in a day. You'd be too many carbs. And you're not going to get there with four zip fizzes a day. No. So, Again, too many carbs. Too many carbs. So so you're in between. So so that is our video. Sorry it's a little long. Sorry it's a little nerdy. Hopefully yeah. this has helped somebody out to kind of like, I'm sure there's got to be somebody out there that thinks like me and it's like, where's the where's the value at? Right? Yeah, I'm that person. So um, hopefully we did help you out. Let's do the giveaway real quick. So we have this. By the way, they also do have the magnesium drops like that. And the fasting drops. The fasting drops are great for fasting. It just gives you like mental alertness while you're fasting. It's salt. <laughs> yeah, it's salt water. These, don't drop these in your mouth. They're, they're, they're kind of bitter. Yeah. They're good, but they're bitter. Um, so we're going to, this is worth 20 bucks. There's 50 vials in here. Um, so this video is releasing on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So next next Tuesday we have staff meeting. So um, Wednesday? next Wednesday, I'll put the date here along the bottom. Mm-hmm. We will do a drawing and give this away. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the like button on this video, and leave a comment down below. And you have to live in the continent of the United States. So. Well, and I would be interested to know, like, what's your favorite way of getting the electrolytes yeah. you need in your diet? What, how are you adding electrolytes in your diet right now? So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new nerdy video, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time. Bye. bye.